Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about my new iPad Pro. So as you can see, I'm just going to kind of go through um, the options here. Uh, the first app I kind of wanted to talk about was GoodNotes. So you can see my most user at the bottom there. Um, but GoodNotes is a note-taking app with using your pencil or the Apple Pencil attachment, which I have. So you make notebooks as shown here, and then you have pages. So I'm just going to go into the first one and kind of show you what I made. So this was quickly something I sketched up um, in my field engineering. We have a bunch of control uh, vocabulary. So I wanted to work on that and take notes. And, and I took those um, snippets from YouTube. And the cool thing about good notes is that you can mark up your drawings. So here I'll show you how to use the pen here. So I'm going to pull up the pen and kind of annotate. Um, obviously this text is way too thick, but it's just for fun. Uh, but the cool thing about it is you can change your coloring and the thicknesses. So the coloring, you just kind of double tap and it'll show you all kinds of preset colors or you can customize it yourself. Um, the cool thing is you can also change the thickness to whatever thickness that you would like. And then you can just start circling and drawing and it's actually super fun to write on, <laughs> um, as you can see here. Uh, and then you just press the backspace to get rid of the text that you just did. The other cool thing is you can also highlight in here um, and erase. So you can see me using the eraser and then the highlight goes behind the text, which I prefer notability. Uh, the highlighter goes in front of the text, which bothers me. So um, I prefer good notes. And then the really awesome thing is the shape editor. So you can make a shape and then hold down for a second or so, and it'll turn it into like a perfect shape. Um, and that includes circles or ovals. Um, I'm gonna do another circle here. And it also includes arrows as well as triangles. I mean, any shape that you can think of that you want to be completely straight. And so let me just undo that here. Um, the, my favorite feature of this is you can circle a patch of text. So you can either circle handwriting, images, text boxes. Um, you can kind of put these on and off depending on if you're going to use them. So I'm going to circle a patch of text. And then you can see here, you can move it around. The other cool thing is you can also resize it. So you kind of tap there and press resize. And then you can use the bottom right corner to resize it, which I also think is super awesome. <laughs> And it makes your work just so much easier when you're moving text around because I mess up a lot. And then you can also import photos. So as you can see, I took these snips off of like a YouTube video called Real Pars, which is a great automating, well, it has animations of all everything technical and controls. So uh, I used those and then annotated those as my notes for work. Um, there's also a text box option, which you can use as well. And that's how I put the back plane. Obviously, it's not, I can't. Uh, my lettering is not that good. <laughs> and so that's really awesome as well. If you're giving a presentation, you can also use this laser pointer, which is pretty cool as well. Um, and it kind of fades away. You can use the laser pointer um, if you're sharing your screen on like a Zoom call or something, uh, which is awesome. So uh, that is a little bit about my notes. As you can see, I only have like a page or so, but I think it's really cool to just be able to take snips of things and uh, draw on them. I actually got inspiration from Samuel, who I'll link below, and Ali Abdal, other YouTubers who have done this kind of note-taking system before. So, and then you can kind of get a detail view here. So I'm gonna continue this and I'll do like a bigger video on it later and my process of it and everything. Um, and then I'm gonna swipe out of here. And the next app I wanna get into is Notion. Obviously I've done a ton of videos on Notion. Love the app, and then here is my construction slash engineering um, vocabulary, which I am constantly working on, so it's great to have it on the go. And then I can also enter um, other vocab words into here directly. I also have courses as well, um, which I will also put notes into, um, but I usually do it on my computer. And then of course I have my library, which has all my books, and I can take notes as I'm listening to audiobooks on my iPad or anything like that. Obviously I have them in color coordinated um, uh, list, which is kind of fun. And then one of the bigger apps that I've been using, this is specifically for my work, is called Bluebeam Review. And this is a PDF editor 
and I use this constantly to access work drawings. And when I say drawings, I'm talking about blueprints or um, kind of documents that are involved in my work. So as you can see, it's going to take a second to load because some of these files are very large. Um, but I like to do job walks and I'll have the drawings out so that I can go and walk the job and have the drawings up to kind of act as um, note taking instead of usually I print off a set of drawings when I walk and this way I can just click one, have it open, and as I walk on the job I can see and annotate my drawings. So it's taking just a little second to load. It's a little funky to navigate. I think the app on the or the computer version is significantly better, but um, having portable drawings is so cool. Um, especially because I spent a long, a large amount of time printing them off. So as you can see here, you can see switch gear and transformers and all of the engineering things. And I can mark it up, highlight and oops, I accidentally highlighted too much. Um, and the cool thing about it is I can zoom in and you could be walking around. You have access to your drawings. Um, as an engineer, this is just basically priceless. I hate having to take my pencil and pen out. Also, when I work in clean spaces, so clean rooms, clean fabs, I cannot take paper in unless it is called clean paper, which is very expensive and hard to print on. So this is just cool. I can just mark this up, do an arrow here, circle the transformer type, I mean, right transformer. Um, it's just a very cool app to have on my iPad. And not everybody will use this, but in construction, I feel like this is very, very useful. And so I'm going to leave the app now. Um, another app I use is called OneDrive. So this is how I get access to all my work documents, and then you can open them up in review. So I highly recommend. And then I have the Kindle app, which I also love as well. Um, that one is just a classic. And then Audible, which obviously I listen to a lot of books and read a lot of books, which you can see in my other YouTube videos. Um, but here, I can listen on the go and I've been playing it in my car as well. So that one's fun. And just some other basic ones Canva I use to edit my thumbnails for YouTube. Um, as you can see, I use one to, to edit my photo as well. Um, and then obviously you have your Netflix and all your entertainment as well. Lastly, I wanted to go over some of the accessories I have for the iPad. So the first one is this magic keyboard. And then of course you saw me using the Apple Pencil. It's the second generation. So the cool thing about having this keyboard is now it's like a full functioning computer. You can basically do anything you can on your laptop. Um, and so you can see having the stand is really nice because you can set it up to watch Netflix or Hulu and then it magnetically detaches and attaches. So that is also a great feature. So on the go, you can just kind of rip it off and, and you're good to go. It also has different angles, which you can push it at as well. And my favorite part is just being able to search online without having to use your fingers to type um, or to, to like peck at the letters. <laughs> Um, which I feel like is the coolest thing and just having the trackpad is just super awesome. So now you can see me closing it and then you can see the outside of the case so you have full function to the camera and it's actually a really nice matted case. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is I also got a carrying case for the iPad and I'll link it below. It also has a little place for the pen as well. Um, and then lastly, I got this other case and that's for when I go on job walks because it's like industrial and it has this thing where you can slip your hand into and rotate it because I'm always worried I'm going to drop stuff um, off multiple levels when I'm walking around. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment below on your favorite app.